I didn't want to talk too much about the shooting in Minnesota of the Australian woman by the police because I wanted to see how the media was going to play this one out. It's not the usual narrative where they say, you know, a black person who was committing a crime or wasn't committing a crime was shot, and then it turns into this whole back and forth race debacle. This time, a woman, a white woman, was shot by the police, and she's the one that called the police. And uh, there's no real way I can Monday morning quarterback this one other than tell you when you call the cops, don't go out to meet them. Don't. Don't do that. You make them come to where you are if they want to ask you questions. Because they know who called a lot of times. They can find out where the call came from. So you let them come knock on your door and you ask questions. Okay, I called the cops one time because I heard something outside. And you know what? I almost got shot. Because I called them, I heard something outside. They didn't get there fast enough. I started to go outside with my gun. And right when I got to the door, I stopped myself. I said, wait a minute. I put the gun away. And then when I went to the door, that's when the cop drove up. So, I could have matched the description at my own house. So, did she match the description? I don't think she matched the description at her own house. I don't think she matched the description of a possible rape suspect. Even though someone that looks like her could commit that crime. But I doubt that she matched the description of what they were looking for. So, how are they going to explain this one away? I don't like saying this, but um, I know I put in a video probably 100 to two, or 200 videos ago. Use stray dog techniques. The same techniques that you use if you don't want to get bitten by a growling, hostile dog. You have to use that same type of body language when you are talking to anyone that might shoot you, whether they're a cop or not. They got a gun in their hand and they might be scared. Tread lightly. Peace.